Hi there everyone, it's Elisma here from God First, Gigi Guy. Now today's word is about Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Now we all know that verse. But have you ever thought about why? How is he the way and the truth and the life? So I'm going to break it up to you today. Um, and um, you know, just so that we can, when we say that verse, we can really go deeply into that verse. Right, so Jesus is the way. The truth and the life is in John 14 verse 6. How is he the way? Now, the Greek word means road and journey. So we need to walk on the same road as when Jesus walked. We need to have a journey with Jesus. We need to look at Jesus' journey that he had on earth. And that is how we need to walk in his way that is how he is the way we need to walk in his ways we need to follow his ways we need to follow his example and that is how and he is the door he is the door john 10 9 says i am the door anyone who enters through me will be saved will live forever and will go in and out freely and find pasture find pasture is find spiritual security Find that rest in Him, right? Find that goodness in Him. Now, there's no other way to the Father than through Jesus, through that door, through that door of Jesus. I accept you as my Savior. Jesus, you are the only way through that door. Now, through that repented life, through that changed life, right? Through that changed life we walk in forgiveness forgiveness of ourselves so that we don't walk in guilt we don't walk in shame and we walk in newness and we say yes jesus i open my heart to you i completely surrender to you and you can come into my heart and i can walk in a spirit life and that is how we follow jesus's ways and that is how jesus is the way Right, then we look at Jesus is the truth. How is Jesus the truth? Jesus came to earth. It's the Word. Jesus is the Word. In the beginning was the Word, Jesus. And the Word was with God, right? John 1.1, 1, 1, it says, And the Word was God Himself. And if we believe in the Holy Bible, if we believe in the Word, if we believe in everything that God says in this word, if we believe that is the truth, because the word, the Bible is the truth. Everything in this Bible is the truth. So that is how Jesus is the truth. He is word. He is the truth. And we can't come and, and take scriptures out and, and just like how it suits us. No, whatever stands in the Bible, that is the truth. We need to stand on the truth. Okay. John 17, 17 says, Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is the truth. Sanctify them. You're right. Change them. Put them into your purpose, Lord. Put in, you know, you need to change. You need to be um, set apart by His word. You need to be set apart by switch. You need to be made holy because we are all set apart to be holy. So the Lord's going to set you apart. The Lord is uh, the word. The word is going to set you apart. The word is going to sanctify you. The word is going to change you because the word is the truth. Now, how does Jesus the life? Well, no. Jesus came to give life and life in abundance. Right. Jesus is the way to eternal life. If you have Jesus, you will have life, eternal life. Right. You will have that heavenly life. Okay. When you live in darkness, you live in death. But when you live in light, you live in life. Listen to that again. When you live in darkness, you live in death. When you live in light, you live in life, eternal life, eternal life with God Almighty in Jesus, right? 
you live in life. This is exactly how this is. John 1 verse 4 says, In him was life, and the life was the light of the men. The light was the light of the men. We need to be in the light. We need to follow Jesus' light. We need to stay in the light. Because then we will have life, eternal life. So that was just, you know, and, and Jesus also said that I am the bread of life. Those who eat of me will have eternal life. Will eat of my flesh and drink of my blood will have eternal life. That is how we also have life. Right? If we accept Jesus completely and understand the power of the blood and understand how the brokenness, the punishment of Jesus, how that was punished for our sins today, for our brokenness, for our things in our life that is not in line with God. We need to get that and we need to honor that because it's precious. Jesus was, he paid for us the precious blood with his precious blood right with his precious blood so i want you all to go take communion go take communion and just say to 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 jesus say thank you that he is the way thank you jesus that you are the way thank you jesus that i can walk in your ways thank you lord jesus that I know that your word is the truth and I stand on your truth and that the enemy won't deceive me with taking scriptures out and certain things in scripture so that it suits my life. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, that you are life, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, you were punished for my sins. You were punished for my brokenness. You were broken for me. Thank you, Jesus, that I can be whole today by taking your body, by taking your body, and thank you, Jesus, the power of your blood. I understand the power of your blood that was shed for me so that I can walk in forgiveness, so that you can wash me as clean as white as snow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So you can go make that prayer a personal thing between you and God, a personal thing between you and Jesus, because each and every one of us has our own journey, has our own pains, has our own things that we need to ask God for, for forgiveness and that he has to wash us clean. Be blessed, beautiful people. Have a wonderful day and just know that God is with us. Amen.